So usually what you'll find is that the differentiation from first principles question will be split up into several parts. Okay? This isn't always the case, but um, it's useful to see uh, a, an exam style problem set out this way. Okay, so that you can see exactly what you need to do at each stage because the actual process um, is really one big overarching thing as you saw in the previous video and so ultimately you're not expected to do everything all in one fell swoop, all in one go. Okay, so what I've done is I've um, designed this question to be exam style. I haven't taken it from a particular exam paper but hopefully it can show you kind of how this process works. So part one, calculate the gradient of the chord joining the points on the curve y equals x squared plus x for which x equals 3 and x equals 3.1. So we need to find the y coordinate for each of these x coordinates. So when x is 3, okay, then I have y is equal to 3 squared plus 3, so 9 plus 3, which is 12. So that gives me one coordinate, 3, 12. Now the second x coordinate is 3.1. So we need 3.1 squared plus 3.1, and that gets me 12.71. So I know the second point is 3.1, 12.71. Okay? So now we need to find the gradient between these two points, okay? So m is equal to the difference in the y-coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. So we're going to have 0.71 in the numerator and 0.1 in the denominator, and so we'd have 7.1. That would be the gradient... Uh, of that chord. Now for part two, stating the point you use, find the gradient of another chord that will give a closer approximation to the gradient of the tangent at x equals 3. So currently what we have, and we have these two points, we've got uh, 312 and we've got this other point, 3.1, 12.71. Okay? And we found the gradient of the chord joining those two points. Okay? So if we want a closer approximation to the gradient of the tangent, we need to choose a point that is closer to 312 uh, that is also on the curve. Okay? So we would choose just a, a value of x that is closer. So we might choose something like 3.01, for example. So x might be 3.01, and so we would find y. So 3.01 squared, so I've chosen this point down here, for example. So just make sure that the point is between and closer to 3.12. So 3.01 squared uh, plus 3.01, and I get 12. 0.0701. And now I need to find the gradient between 312 and 3.01, 12.071. So m equals 12.0701, take away 12, difference in the y coordinates, divided by the difference in the x coordinates. So we're going to have 12.071. Uh, 0, 1, yep, and then divide by 3.01, take away 3, so 0 0.01, and we get 7.01. So the gradient of the two initial points was 7.1, the gradient of these two points is 7.01. Given that f of x is equal to x squared plus x, the curve in question, find and simplify f of 3 plus h, take away f of 3, uh, divided by h. Now we already know what f of 3 is. That is just substituting 3 into that and we know that that's 12. So we need to find that f of 3 plus h. 
So f of 3 plus h. We replace each of the x's with 3 plus h. So we're going to have 3 plus h squared plus 3 plus h. So expand that bracket. We're going to get 9 plus 6h plus h squared plus the 3 plus the h. So we want to simplify that. So we've got the h squared. We've got 6h plus an h, so 7h. And we've got 9 plus 3, which is 12. OK. So now we want to substitute into this. So we've got f of 3 plus h. So, so h squared plus 7h plus 12. That's that bit there. Take away f of 3, which is that 12. Divide by h. So that 12 and that 12 cancel. I'm left with h squared plus 7h over h. And then we have h plus 7 left over when I divide through by that h. Use your result to part 3 to find the gradient of y is equal to x squared plus x at the point x equals 3, showing your reasoning. Now, what this has done is found the general point, or the, sorry, the gradient of the general chord that goes from that point to any point that's on that curve. Okay? And as h gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, I am going to get a more and more accurate gradient of the tangent at 312. So I put the limit as h tends to 0. I shrink h to 0 for that h plus 7, okay, that gradient. And as h gets smaller and smaller and smaller, this gets smaller and, oh, sorry, closer and closer and closer to just being 7. It's like having 0 plus 7. And so 7 is the gradient of y equals x squared plus x at the point x equals 3. And the reasoning is that I'm shrinking h to 0, and it's the uh, gradient of the curve is getting closer to that value. And we could see it as our first example was 7.1, the second was 7.01, and the actual gradient is 7. So if I'm choosing points closer and closer and closer together, I'm getting more, a more and more accurate approximation. Now, that would be the exam question. Now, for our own sake, let's have a look at using our usual form of dy by dx just to check that 7 is right. So we have y is equal to x squared plus x. So dy by dx would be 2x plus 1. And I would substitute in x is 3. So I want the gradient when x is 3, which is 2 lots of 3 plus 1, which is 7. So it confirms exactly what I have here.